There are a lot of good, but there are also some things here which are good and can actually be explored. The disadvantage in many fields, maybe the non-traditional methods of attending college are still looked down upon. Because sometimes if you go for a job, if they see you have come from an institution where you have a physical interaction, your degree seems to be more recognized. Sometimes online degrees are still not considered as a valid or a reputed degree, which I feel is changing, but still needs to change a lot. And then personal discipline, keeping the person motivated, keeping up with their assignments, because there are a lot of distractions today in life for students, especially at home. There are a lot of distractions. And for them to stay motivated, to keep up with these assignments, it may prove more difficult for online students than those who are in the classroom under your purview, under your eye, and under your you know, uh, vision. Then lack of one-to-one -one teaching. I think this is the biggest drawback. We miss that interaction with our teachers, with our principal, with our friends. So that, that will definitely lack in online. But I think in this scenario, as I said, safety first, and then all this can definitely follow. It may be just for a short time today that we'll be fully locked in over a period of time. I'm sure we're going to come out. And then online courses may not be available for all subjects. So to you teachers and facilitators and skilled professors there, if you feel your avenue or your area, there is not enough online content, use this as an opportunity to develop that content. You become the starting point of developing that content and sharing that content with, you know, your, uh, with your students and your, your world. So I have this online world, which I call the dazzling digital lifestyle. I conduct webinars on that. So click sams.co forward slash dazzle digital webinar. That is what I conduct. And you can always have that, you know, I will just show you a short demo of what I was speaking about. You know, uh, I was talking about my, what do you call it? Hub, the teachable hub where I also show how you can set up all these tools and platforms. And one of the platforms that I spoke of for web, the webinars was Demio. So I'll just show you a quick glance of that. And then I'll hand over to our next speaker. I think I have another five minutes. So please just bear with me. So this is, uh, I hope you can all see the screen. I hope you can see my screen. So this is my hub, which I call the hub.samiradiani.com. And these are the courses that I have. So the Dazzling Digital Lifestyle, then the Setup Challenge, then Facebook Traffic Mastery. And you know, these are, these are the courses that I have actually pre-recorded and these are on-demand courses. And here, as an admin, you can actually have information about your courses. You can have your pages ready. You can have your curriculum. So you can actually put up your subjects and your curriculum. You can also see your students who have you know, attended, when they logged in, how long they logged on for, and how soon they, you know, uh, what all exercises and what are the other things that they uh, actually went in and actually explored. And you can see their comments. You can see the comments that they made on each of your courses or each of your videos. And by that way, you can grade and judge how much they have understood or what else, you know, they, they actually need to understand. And here, as just to give you a demo now, this was the dazzling setup challenge. So your setup phase, your shoot your domain, your web, your marketing. Okay, okay, I'm not going to the marketing part. But now the webinar selling system, as I said, now Demio on the hub, I have videos like this. So you can learn how to set up things and how to use things. So I'll just play this for one or two minutes. And then if you have any questions or whatever the uh, organizers have planned, I will hand it back to them. So yeah, these are, these are, this is what you will come. You'll come to all events, standard events, series. Auto one second, I will just... Events. You'll have those options. And you can just go ahead and click on add new event. Okay. So I'm just demonstrating the how options you can that it gives you in this. Now, this is again my demo account. So you can go ahead you can and select a standard and or a series. A series is when you're going to have, you know, uh, scheduled sessions, maybe weekly, uh, daily, or even monthly. You can actually have a series. So you don't need to keep asking people to register again. Once somebody registers for your webinars, they will be updated and they will get information. Yeah. So that's, that's basically just a, this thing that I have recorded online course content. Uh, the students log in, they click on that, they watch, they comment in the box and they take action accordingly. So you can have pre-recorded content. You can have live webinars through how we are doing now. And you can use many of those platforms. I see a few questions coming in. I see a few uh, comments coming in. I'd love to address it. 
if it is now or later that uh, the organizers and Dr. Parvati and team have to tell me. But uh, I think connecting with the world, irrespective of Corona, COVID, connecting with our, you know, our loved ones, our students, and connecting with our teachers should never have an interruption, should never have a blockage. Let there be Corona, let there be COVID, but we can dazzle and connect with our community, with our students, with our institutions, and we can do this through online teaching. So thank you for hearing me out. Thank you for having me here. Compliments to the organizers for under, I mean, you know, uh, arranging this wonderful two-day international webinar as the new normal for Gen Z. And I think the Gen Z is going to benefit. So back to you, Vachan, Dr. Parvati, whoever. Thank you. And I'm free to take any questions. And yeah, uh, yeah. We'll just take a couple of questions that come up, sir. Yeah. Uh, so there's one question on how these online classes and courses be helpful to poorer right. sections. I saw that. I realize. See, I, I do understand that the development in you know the far off rural areas is definitely not in. So that's where NGOs and you know non-government organizations like Rotary and many others come in because we are in a day-to-day -day dialogue with the government. We are using our resources. We are using our platforms to try and develop. So they have to grow together. It has to happen together. If you're talking about online teaching, if you're talking about computer screens, internet, and if they don't have, it's like, you know, when we say you put a water filter when there's no water in that area, or we say use this electric meter when there's no electricity. So I totally understand where you're coming from. So it has to be a joint effort. In fact, as we speak, as soon as I sign out of here, there is a signing of an MOU happening with the union government and the Rotary India Humanity Foundation. I'm so proud that I'm the governor of Rotary when it's happening. And PDG Manandi Suresh and PDG Vishwanath Shetty are part of this wonderful organization. We are signing an MOU with the HRD ministry, with the education ministry, and they are officially making adult learning, e-learning, and also, you know, the child development and happy school. We have a teach mission. We are signing an MOU and they're making it an official part of the central government curriculum for education. And that's when Rotary will assist the rural and the far off areas to even develop infrastructure apart from prior providing training. As you heard, Rotarian Ravi Chandran and Rotary Bangalore Spandana in this COVID time have brought about phenomenal uh, achievements in online training, especially in the literacy field. Our literacy committee has had teacher trainings for 15 days where thousands of teachers connected and then they have gone on and shared that knowledge. So yes, sir, it's a very valid question and we are working on it and with your support and with your help, I think we can actually go ahead and develop that infrastructure as well. Okay. So how are these classes going to be helpful for the hearing impaired students if they're in inclusive colleges where they study along with the normal students? So again, to tell you that we are addressing this issue, we are having on 12th of June, I think that's Friday evening, 6 to 8, we are having what is known as an accessibility seminar. We are having an accessibility seminar where we are actually going to address these issues as to where the people with specific disabilities. So we don't call them disabilities. We call them special abilities and people with special abilities, how every platform, how every system, how every, whether it's education, business, non-education, whatever it may be, how they need to incorporate all these special requirements. Like, you know, even the buildings or the infrastructures still lack the basic amenities for people with uh, special needs or special uh, disabilities or abilities. The same way our platforms, our structure need that development. And that is, again, something which is in force. 12th June, maybe I'll share the link with your VET group and you can feel free to join in there where we'll be addressing specifically the accessibility seminar for people to make all this accessible to them. So I, I cannot, uh, you know, the time does not permit me to answer that whole thing now, but I'm sure that seminar will be of value to you. So yes. there is another question on, you know, how extensive uh, courses can be taught online? Will it be effective? And also practical subjects. Can yeah, so, so I, that's what I said. You are these, see, I am a dentist here. Firstly, I am a dentist. I adapted to this. If a dentist like me who only knew how to look into teeth and into mouths can actually adapt to technology and take up online teaching or uh, online courses, I'm sure you can definitely take this up and you can go ahead and train people in online teaching. So the experts, I know they are bigger experts here. The technology, I saw the speakers who are coming up over the next two days. They're from the technology field. They are actually trained in this. So they are the ones 
who can go out and actually share that knowledge. And people like me have benefited from people like them who have actually taken that effort to teach online, to train online, and to give us the new skill or to give us the new knowledge that we, it's, it's like, you know, it's, I use this, uh, we saw one study B, not to say that I'm talking about that platform, but I use this as a frequent example in my discussions or in my webinars or in my connect with people. See, one is you're sharing knowledge skill. One is maybe you're doing this as a profession. Maybe some of us are professionals. Maybe we sell courses. Maybe we draw salaries or whatever. It may be a profession for us. But one great thing we should know, each one of us in whichever field that we are in, we are actually having some knowledge or skill that we have learned or we have developed over a period of time. So when we take this example of a bumblebee, a bumblebee actually goes from flower to flower for what? It goes to you know, draw honey or suck honey and then go and keep it in its beehive, which is the nectar or which is its lifeline. So for us, maybe that money is honey. I mean, sorry, that honey is money. Maybe that honey for us is money. But at the end of the day, what the bumblebee is also doing, it is taking the pollen from that flower and passing it on to the next flower and passing it on to the planet Earth and actually spreading cross-pollinization and helping Mother Earth, you know, actually evolve and grow. So we people, skilled professionals, trained professionals, teachers should actually be like bumblebees. We should try and impart our knowledge, whether offline, online, and we should actually make this a movement and get on a mission to see that more and more people who did not have the benefit of that knowledge or do not have that benefit of that knowledge gain from our knowledge, our experience and our expertise. And I think we all should be that bumblebee who cross pollinates the world with our skill and knowledge and tomorrow, maybe by 2025, as I said, India for sure, not just literacy, but I think maybe we will all be experts in the digital ecosystem. And I think digital ecosystem is the way forward. So thank you. Yes, I, I, uh, I will try and share the accessibility seminar. I'm waiting for the link myself. I'm one of the speakers there, but I'll share it with the VET group. And I would love to see more and more people who are actually focusing on special education to attend that seminar and see how they can also use and how they can impart their knowledge there. So thank you, uh, Team VET. Thank you, Spandana. Uh, DG, one more uh, point. Yes, Ravi. In fact, we have uh, our uh, uh, e club, which for abilities, that also you can mention them. Our Sorry, so, yes. ability club. So Exactly. So that accessibility seminar is an initiative of the Rotary Bangalore abilities. It's a Rotary club with 35, 40 members and all of them are with special abilities. They're either hearing impaired or visually impaired or physically impaired, but that has not stopped them in life. And some of them are in big jobs in companies like IBM and Dell, some are with State Bank of India. So they have come through this uh, you know, whole process and they've achieved something and they've all come together to form a Rotary Club and their mission is to try and see that more and more people get enabled. And that accessibility seminar is one of the seminars arranged by that Rotary Bangalore abilities. Yes, I agree. There are some practical implementations. Like we, we also face that. We like practical lessons to be taught. We want group discussions in person. There are limitations. Like I said, there are limitations. So let us try and focus on what are the goods or the betters that we can do. Okay. And what we can't do, we will try and develop opportunities to ensure that that also happens. So like I said, let us use what we can do for now, because this is not going to be permanent, but let us use this as an important part in our day-to-day -day lives, whether there is a Corona or a COVID or not, and let us adopt as much digitalization and as much technology as we can for the betterment of all of us. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. We have uh, comments uh, pouring in that it was an excellent session. It was very useful. Thank you. Thank you so much. Pajai. Thank you, the VET group. Thank you, Spandana. Uh, thank you, Vishu, sir, and Manandi, sir. sir. Thank you, Parvati, ma'am. Thanks, Vachan. And the, Mr. Cho Choi, love to hear you. But in between, I may have to sign off for that meeting happening with the HRD ministry where we are signing that MOU. If I do sign off in between, please do excuse me. I'm happy to take questions through you. You have connect with the VET group. Please shoot any questions to them. And I will be happy to answer them offline as well. And I'm always available whenever you know uh, the need is there. And that's what we all do. We connect the world through whatever we can connect through. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you, sir. You have rightly captured the objectives of webinar, which aims new ways of communication during COVID-19, a global platform, 
world perspective on virtual teaching and measures to overcome the challenges posed on teaching fraternity and to realign on teaching on new normal using power of connectivity now let me welcome our next speaker of the session mr choi from south korea speaking on the topic finding hope and courage and i request mrs ramya bi pg coordinator to introduce our next speaker uh, good morning everyone i have the privilege of introducing mr choi kyon young who is basically a south korean he is currently the chairman of international youth fellowship sri lanka director of international mind education institute south korea he is specialized in mind education from mahanyam college and he is specialty lecturer with international mind education institute south korea he counts over 10 years of work experience as mind education specialist and has been engaged on several engagements in usa japan india nepal malaysia and many more indeed we are happy to have you uh, on this virtual platform sir and over to you mr choi for the session uh very good morning morning thank you so much for your kind invitation uh the doctor al the papati the principal and all the dear the host and the organizers uh, i'm so great to be with you here and uh, one of the speaker who will share about the things we need to overcome this uh, covid-19 pandemic uh it was excellent session with the dr samil and uh, we learned a lot of the useful information and knowledge so before we go for my session let's have a little time to stretch up our body yeah we learned a lot of the knowledge so i will go for another one hour so let's have short time to stretch up our body yeah little bit yeah for a short moment please stretch up your body it is not easy to look on the screen for 2 3 hours like that yeah we can go left we can go right okay let's rotate our leg 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 opposite 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 Let's rotate our eyes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Opposite side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's rotate our shoulders. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Opposite side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's cross our arms like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more time. Opposite. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Let's go for my session now. I will turn on my PowerPoint first. Uh. One second. Yes, let me start. Uh, the topic of my lecture today is finding hope and courage, which we really need right now. A while ago, the Dr. Samil uh, he really delivered a great message. What we really need a lot of the informations and the vast knowledge he shared with us. Now I'm going to talk about uh, mainly focus on our mind and attitude and the heart. that we should have to overcome this uh, covid-19 pandemic situation this is the today the status of the covid-19 uh, more than 7 billion people are con case and the more than 400,000 four lakh people died of this covid-19 so really all the countries all around the world are suffering a lot even the south korea major company like the samsung hi hyundai and the lg a lot of the factories are shut down right now uh so i will show you one sentence here how do you read this sentence some people read it happiness is nowhere and some people read it happiness is now here so it shows that even though we face the same challenges and the difficulties in our life 
according to the attitude of the mind and the heart of the people, how they interpret their challenges can be different. I will tell you one interesting story. There was one father and the son who took a journey in the desert. As time passed by, they lost the way and all the food and the water that they carry are all consumed. Son, he sat down and he complained, Daddy, I think we lost the way, right? I regret why I took this journey. I think we are gonna die here. Before I die, I wish I could see my mother's face once. And father said, son, stand up. Let's work a little more. Village is nearby. It's your first time to take a journey here, but father took a several times of the journey here. So today morning, you saw the sun was rising from that side, right? We are exactly working toward the eastern side. So we will find out the village soon. They start to work again. And again, after a few hours, they saw the one tomb in the desert. Son, he sat down and he cried. Daddy, look at that tomb. That person also must have lost the way like us. And he died over there. I don't want to work anymore. Let me just sit down here and die here. And father, he said, son, now we are going to leave. Please stand up. Village is very nearby. Let's work. Daddy, you don't try to cheat me again. For how many days you are talking same things repeatedly again and again? I'm not, I'm not gonna work anymore. Just let me sit down and die here. And father, he started to explain to the son, son, you listen to me. As you said, suppose this person die over there, but is it possible for him to make a tomb by himself and enter over there? Impossible, right? So there is a tomb, it means there were the people who made the tomb and buried him under there. Son, you know, there is a tomb, it means there is a village very nearby. So as son listened to the father, he realized, ah, father, you are right. There is a tomb, it means there is a village very nearby. Daddy, let's work. Son, he got the strength, they start to work again. And after a short time, they could find out the village and took a rest, having some food and the water. They could successfully come back home. So through this story, there are some points that I want to share with you. The wise son, he was despair. Not only he lost away in the desert, he didn't know when he can come out from the desert. Right? That was the reason why he was despair. And there is reason why people are scared and despaired of this COVID-19 pandemic situation, right? Because people do not know when this pandemic will be over, right? If some scientists or the doctors from the India or South Korea, USA or Japan, right? They come and they speak on the TV. Everyone, don't worry, right? Up to the end of the June, you may suffer. But now we complete the making the vaccine and the medicine for this COVID-19. So from the first week of the July, we can distribute this medicine all around the world. So from July, you can go to the school and the university and the company, right? If somebody can speak to us like that, people will not be scared and despair like this. So people do not know when this pandemic will be over. So even Japan, they canceled and delayed this uh, Tokyo Olympic 2020 up to next year, right? So if they cannot conduct this uh, Olympic next year, this Olympic will be canceled. So uh, India, USA, Japan, and the G20 countries all around the world, they are suffering all together. And we do not know when it will be over. That's why people are the despair. So what was the most important for the sun to come out from the desert? It was the hope, right? When sun got the hope in his heart, he could get the strength to stand up again and work. And soon he could come up from the desert. So how he could get the hope? That hope was not there in the heart of the son first. That hope was there in the heart of the father. How he could get that hope? Through the conversation that he had with the father, that hope in the father's heart, it flew into the heart of the son. So then through the conversation, 
what the son he realized about he realized that ah my thoughts are wrong right yeah looking at the same tomb right i saw only the despair but my father he saw the hope ah it's my first time that's why i thought that we are gonna die but father he had a lot of the experience of the taking a journey here so looking at the same tomb i saw the death but he saw the life right when he realized that his thoughts were wrong he could come out from his wrong thoughts and his heart start to be connected with the heart of the father through that heart connection hope and the wisdom in the heart of the father start to flow into the heart of the son everyone no matter what challenge we face in our life what is the most important in your life is the connection of the heart with your family members with your colleague the faculties with your students with the people who are working around you everyone electric power flows through the electric wire connection right my house cannot generate electric power but i am using the electricity right now i'm using this uh, refrigerator ac i'm now communicating with you through zoom how because my house is connected with the power station through the wire right so through that the wire connection huge amount of electric power it flew into my house and it generate all the electronics in my house electric power flows through the electric wire connection water flows through the water pipe but hope joy peace wisdom gratitude thankfulness such a things flows through the heart to heart through the heart connection that's why the people who say happiness is nowhere people who live without the hope and the wisdoms it's because they are the people who only believe their thoughts and their eyes are right this why they are isolated within the domain of the small domain of their thoughts and they are not able to be connected with wisdom and the hope they can come from the other people everyone think about this if that son he die in the desert he didn't die because of the problem like the desert he would die there because he was isolated within himself is this right so this is same as this columbus story so christopher columbus he the discovered the new world america right so why people in the middle middle uh, uh why people in the middle age middle age <laughs> why people in the middle age they couldn't discover the new world that the uh, christopher columbus he found right because people they thought the earth was flat so looking at the end of the horizon they thought that end of the horizon is the end of the world so if we go too much far there will be the end of the world like this it's so funny for them, right no one think like this but at the at the time before all the people they thought like this if we go too much far on the atlantic ocean there will be the waterfall there will be the end and then took we will fall down and we are gonna die so whenever they look at the end of the horizon they felt scared to go beyond over there but the christopher columbus as he listened to the some other explorers and the scientists what he realized was ah this my eyes are wrong in my eyes it looked like flat but earth is the round shape so that end of the horizon is not end of the world the new world is waiting for me if i cross over that end of the horizon so looking at the same end of the horizon when people are scared the heart of the columbus start to be pumping what is waiting for me if i go cross over there the end of the horizon so finally he could go to the usa he thought that there was india right because he tried to go to india he came back he reported to the spain queen she was very happy but there was the other high government officers who felt jealousy on him right hey what you did is not something great so not something special right you just uh, discover the land which just exists from before anyone can do that don't just post about yourself at that time columbus he brought some eggs and spoke to them can you make this egg stand up they try right but egg never stand right oh no no it's impossible impossible can you i can show us columbus holding the egg ah, he hit the desk 
as the egg was broken, that egg stood. And again, people mock at him. Hey, if you do like that, we also can make uh, the, the egg, can make the egg stand up. At that time, Columbus, he said, hey, do you know why? Why is something impossible? Why is something which was very much difficult with you is possible with me? Why it is so easy with me? It's because you never break it down. You never break down what you see and what you think. Right. That's why you believe the earth is flat, trusting your eyes, thinking that the end of the horizon is the end of the world. How you can cross over that limit? Right. Until you die, you can never find out the new land. Right. Yes, as I listen to others, right, I could realize, ah, this, my eyes are wrong. When my eyes and my thoughts were broken down, I got to know. Ah, the new world is waiting for me over that end of the horizon. Is this right? Everyone, <clears throat> likewise, hope and the new wisdom can never stand up in you unless your thoughts and fixed ideas are broken down. So look, when we go to the Spain, there is a monument to the discovery of the America by Columbus. The point is there, you can see the edge is broken, right? When edge was broken, the egg stood up. Likewise, when our eyes and thoughts and the, our fixed idea broken down, at that time, new hope and the wisdom can stand up in our life and we can enter into the new world that we never experienced before. Yes. Many people, they focus on the learning the, a lot of the knowledge and information like that. Nowadays, through the Google and the YouTube, we can get a lot of the information. And as we achieve the success in our life, we have tendency to trust and believe my thoughts are only right. This is what I learned. This is what I experienced. This is sure. There is the moment when you trust yourself only, you are isolated in the small domain of yourself. So wisdom is the different domain from the domain from, of the knowledge and the information. You have a lot of the information of the knowledge. It doesn't mean that you become the wise persons. You get the wisdom and the hope when your fixed idea and thoughts can be broken down. Just so this elephant also saying, this elephant look like tied up with the rope, but this elephant is tied up with his own thoughts that I cannot come up from here, right? When the elephant was baby, it was caught by some people and they, they like tied up this elephant leg with uh, some rope. An elephant tried to come up from there one, ten, hundred thousand times. And what the elephant realizes, ah, I cannot come up from here. Many years pass by. Now elephant body become huge like the house. Right. If he make a one step from there, he can easily come up from there, but he never move. He never try. Why? He believe what he experienced, right? And I let this several times, so many times I tried, but I failed. I cannot come up from here, right? So even though it is the largest animal, right? Just, hey, you just make one step, not two, three steps, just try to make one step from there, but it never moves, right? Now it is normal tied with the rope. It is a tied with its own thoughts. So for you to set this elephant free from there, what you need to teach this elephant is your thoughts can be wrong. Yeah, what you experienced was true a few years ago, but now that thoughts are wrong. You are the largest animal in the world. Just try to make a one step from there. When the elephant's thoughts are broken, that elephants can be free from there. So many times we are also tied up with our own thoughts, trusting that these thoughts are for sure. This is what I experienced. That's why so many people are tied up with something that can make them to be desperate in their life. That's so two most important things to overcome this current situation and even challenge in your future. First is change your eyes. Change your eyes. Second is the connection of the hearts, right? So whenever we face some challenge in our life or whenever you did some new project, right? Always negative thoughts come to your mind. What if I failed? What if it doesn't make sense, right? What if other people mock at me, right? So when you accept any single negative thought into your mind, there is the same as to be bitten by the poisonous snake. Why people die when you are bitten by the poison of the snake? Because the poison of the snake paralyzes the circulation of the blood in your body. 
That's why the blood cannot supply the oxygen to your brain and the heart and you die. Likewise, when we accept the negative thought into our mind, that negative thought, it paralyzes our thinking capacity. Hey, I cannot be free from this rope, right? Hey, the end of the horizon is the end of the world. Once you accept such a negative thought, from then on, you become the fool. You cannot think anymore, right? And then we fade in our life. So change your eyes, plug out the eyes of seeing despair, right? And only look with the eyes of the hope. There must be the way, right? If there is no way in my eyes, if I talk and discuss and listen to other people, there must be the way if we work together. Second is the connection of the heart. Yeah. <clears throat> now, let me tell you one the true story that happened in the Japan. 1991 in the Aomori province in Japan, they produced the 50 percentage of the apple in the Japan. Strong typhoon is struck the Japan. So 90 percentage of the apple fell down. So when the farmer slept and woke up in the morning, 90 percentage apple fell down and the bugs and the insects were eating that apple. They all cry, they shouted. They said, I will never do this apple farm again. They plan to, right? Like to pay the term fee for their children's university. And they plan to buy some the new clothes for their wife. So as the apple fell down, all their plan and the future fell down together. At that time, there was one farmer who didn't look at the apple on the ground, but look at the apple hanging on the tree. Everyone in our life, always there are the people who look at the 90 percentage of the condition to be despair. And there are the people who look at the 10 percentage condition to get the hope. According to what you choose to see, your future becomes different. Is this right? So as you look at the apple on the tree, yeah, that apple is a very special tree. How it could overcome that strong the typhoon when all others fell, it overcame the typhoon, right? So he got the idea from there. And it was the final exam for the A-level exam. In Sri Lanka, they call A level to go to university. In the India, you call like, like class 12, last exam, right? It was the last exam to go to the university for the higher secondary school students. So he started to write down the name on the apple, past, and the success. And he started to advertise to the people like this. Everyone, if your children are going to take the exam for the university, you buy and give this apple. This is the very special apple. They give the special luck. When all the apple fell down, this apple didn't fall. It passed the typhoon and it overcame it. So if your children eat this apple, when all other students fall by the exam, they will not fall. They will pass the exam and they will go to university where they want to go. <laughs> of course, this is not true, right? This is superstitious. If you just eat the apple and go to the best university, <laughs> no need to study, right? But in such an important time, people, they believe what they want to believe. Do you agree with me? Yes. And this COVID pandemic, so many messages are coming to my WhatsApp. Congratulations. WHO confirmed to give you 1,000 GB free of cost. Please put your information. Congratulations. Hey, Pizza Hut, KFC, confirmed to give you two features free of course. Please input your information. I never put my information there. But there are still many people who put information there, right? So in such a critical and important time, people have tendency to believe what they want to believe. Am I right? So even though it was much more expensive than the other common apple, within one week, all the apple were sold out. So when other farms lost everything in their life, this farmer got the highest income in his life. So here, what I want to tell you today, <clears throat> in our life, there is always something that you can change and you cannot change. Something that you can change, you cannot change. Everyone, typhoon already came. 90% of apple already fell down. This is something that you cannot change, right? COVID-19 already struck starting from the China. It came to South Korea. It went to Italy, right? Now it spread all around the world. 
Even if we complain or blame on somebody like that, we cannot change anything. Looking at the something that you cannot change continually, it only brings you the despair and the desperation. Right? But there is something that we can change. We can change what to see. Right? Whether you will choose to see the despair or whether you choose to see the hope. Right? You can change your heart. So our body is bound with the time and the space. That's why here in Sri Lanka also, uh, more than the 66 days, it was the uh, lockdown. It was the curfew. So more than two months, my body couldn't go out, right? So desperate, but my heart is different. Our heart is not bound by any time in the space. My heart could go to South Korea to meet my parents there. My heart can now go back to the 10 years old of my school age and meet my school friends. My heart can go to the any stars in the universe. Am I right? Yes. Only the speed which is faster than the speed of the light is the speed of the heart. It takes about the eight minutes, 30 seconds for the sunlight to reach the earth, right? But in our heart, we can go to the sun right now. Yes, that's why putting aside circumstances that you see right now, you can shift, you can move your heart from the circumstances and the doubt and the fear into the hope and the peace, joy, and gratitude. You think about this. When you are under darkness, what you need is the light. Because under darkness, you cannot see, you cannot do anything, and you feel cold and the scared, right? That's why when you come back from the home, okay, when you come back from the company or university, at the home in the night, what you do first is you switch, you try to find out the switch to turn on the light. Why? When the light comes, light has the power to cast away all the darkness, right? So when you are free, the dark, free from the darkness, then you can start to see and study, work something in the house, something like that. Light of our heart is like hope joy, gratitude, happiness, and the thankfulness, right? When these kind of things fill up your heart, it casts away all your darkness and the new ideas start to come to your mind. And you can actually overcome any kinds of the problem in your life. Okay, everyone, why people who get the cancer, they die? When the doctor say you are the cancer patient, at that time, before they die physically, their heart first to die. Ah, uh, I'm gonna die. Then they die, right? COVID-19, COVID-19, <clears throat> even though you, of course, it is the best that you do not get the COVID-19, okay? But even if you become the COVID-19 patient, it doesn't mean that you die, right? But those people who think that I'm gonna die, uh, you please eat the food. Uh, I have no appetite. If you don't eat, you die. Because not only the COVID-19 virus is there in our body, there is the immune is also there. So if we provide the, uh, the energy, this immune is activated, then we can overcome the COVID-19. But when the people lose the heart, I, I don't want to eat, then energy is not provided, then that person actually die. Now you remember the first story that I share with you, that the son and the father, before son, his body came out from the desert. His heart first came out from the desert and the body followed to come out from the desert. Likewise, if you can overcome something in your heart first, then you can actually overcome any kinds of the challenge in your life as well. That is a secret of overcoming and the success and true happiness in our life. So now I'm gonna tell you one more story. Miss Yi Ji Sun, Li Ji Sun, uh, last year student of the Ihua Uman University. Very beautiful. And the Ihua Uman University is best woman university in South Korea. She was the last year student and uh, she was studying in the library and uh, her brother came to pick her up at the 10.30 p.m. And uh, they started at the one traffic point and there was one truck coming from behind with the full speed and it crashed that car and it became the seven car piled up accident. And that car started to be burned with the fire. 
and that season, she was under the fire for a few minutes. Everything was burnt out from the knee to the top of the head. Everything was burnt out. And it was telecasted on the TV in South Korea. So I will show you one video clip. Let's watch and I will continue. So look at there. So it was how she was. In the ICU 36 days, 18 people around her in the same room died. You think about it. Every two days, one person in the same room died. Must be very scary, right? Within seven months, she got the surgery 11 times. And the 13 years, she got the surgery 40 times. Have you ever got the surgery in your life? One time surgery is not easy. When I was 18 years old, I got the surgery on my stomach, right? One time surgery also is very painful. It's so boring to stay in the hospital, like two weeks, three weeks, one month without doing anything, right? 11 times in seven months and 40 times surgery in the 13 years. And you see her eyes are open now, right? So she couldn't close her eyes for 24 hours. She couldn't sleep. Why? All the nerves of her face were burnt out and couldn't close the mouth, couldn't control the saliva. That's why saliva continued to fall. That's why nurse, she put the cotton like that. Everyone, will you try to glimp your eyes? Just try to glimp your eyes. Yeah, we are so thankful, right? Our nerves of the face are alive. She was scared to see her face on the mirror. One day her mother gave her CD to listen to the music. Accidentally, she saw her face reflecting the, on the CD. She shouted, mommy, what is this? This is not I, this is not I. When the elevator is open, ding. When the people saw her, people scream, shout, people are scared and they run away. When the children saw her, children say, mommy, they cry. They say monster, they fell down, run away. You think about the feeling. If the people see you and they are scared and they are disgusted by you, right? And the one day nurse came and spoke, did you sign on the paper to cut all the fingers on your both hands? She said, mommy, I'm gonna kill myself. I don't wanna, I don't wanna live anymore, right? With this face, without the finger, what is the reason why I should live in this world? Look at her. This is what happened to her after the accident. Her face became like this. Everyone, woman's face became like this. Do you know what does that mean? She lost everything in her life, right? What is the most important for the lady? In fact, yeah. more than the qualification, his face is very much important. Yes or no? Yeah. Which company like to hire such a lady to work in the company? Customer will be scared and run away, right? Which man like to get married such a lady like that? Her face became like that means she lost everything in her life. Even though got a lot of times of the surgery, face couldn't be recovered. And all her fingers were cut down. Only a few knuckles remain, remained. So this beautiful lady with the bright future of the, one of the best universities in the South Korea, not by her fault, but by the fault of the drunken driver on that one night accident, she lost everything like this. But she was not desperate. She didn't commit suicide. She overcame it beautifully. So I will show you one interview of her video and I will continue.
이제 수술실 문 앞에서 보호자가 이제 더 이상 들어갈 수 없는 네네. 그문 앞에서 간호사님 이제 저 침대를 받으면서 양손 절단동에서 다 쓰셨죠? 그러시는 거예요. 오른손만 못 살리는 줄 알고 이렇게 용기 내서 갔는데 아... 왼손도 안 된다는 거예요. 어, 이제 엄마 왼손도 안 된대. 그랬더니 엄마가 이제 엄마는 이제 아주 복잡한 표정으로 고개를 끄덕이셨죠. 아... 망의 순간이었죠 그때. 근데 진짜 감사하게 제가 그 수술실 앞에서 맨손도 안 된대라고 물었을 때 엄마가 고개를 끄덕이고 제가 처음에 나간 말이 엄마 더 많이 자르지 않아서 감사하지 이랬거든요. 저도 이 말을 하고 어, 이 말은 누가 누가 한 거지? <웃음> 이건 뭐지? <웃음> 그냥 그 뒤로 그냥 제가 그 마음으로 계속 살고 있어요. 이렇게 어. 더 많이 자르지 않은 것에 대해서 음. 이만큼 더 잘라서 오른손 더못 쓰는 거 화나고 불행하다 않고 더 많이 자르지 않아서 왼손 한 마디 더 있기 때문에 왼손으로 젓가락질하고 다른 일들 할수 있는 거 감사하고 그러면서 이제 하루에 한 가지씩 엄마랑 감사할 걸 찾기 시작했어요. 아, 아. 가진 손가락이지만 이 손으로 이제 숟가락 잡고 제 힘으로 제 손으로 네네. 입에 밥 넣는 날 그리고 그날은 그거 감사하고 네. 환자복에 잠축구멍 너무 오래 걸렸지만 하나 채우고 그날 이거 다시 할수 있게 돼서 감사하고 네. 계단 올라가고 그날은 또 그거 감사하고 문고리 잡고 문연 날은 또 오늘은 또 문을 열수 있었다고 감사하고 네. 뭐 그것도 없는 날은 제가 발안 다쳤다 그랬잖아요. 그러니까 이제 유일하게 씻을 수 있는 곳이에요. 엄마랑 발 씻으면서 그래도 씻을 수 있는 발이 있어서 감사하다. 오케이. Her mother was always with her, and she said, "My daughter, I never see you through your ugly face. You are still most." Beautiful, most precious, most important to me. So each moment when she gave the food into the mouth of the Jesus, at every single spoon she prayed, God, let this each spoon of the rice become the new skin, new body for my daughter. So as that the Jesus, she start to feel the unchanging heart and the love of the mother. Ah, I'm still. Someone most beautiful, precious, important to my mother, and she start to be connected with the heart of the mother. I told you, everyone, most important thing in your challenging life and the critical time, connection of the hearts. So through that connection of the hearts with the heart of the mother, new thoughts start to come into her mind. So one day. She said to her mother, "Mommy, I'm so thankful today. Why? That my fingers are cut only this much. Think about it. If I had cut to my, if I had cut my wrist or arms and or the hands, really I cannot do anything. But with this, some few knuckles of the finger, I can write down. I'm so thankful. My fingers are cut only this much. How she said before? Oh, with this face, without the finger, I'm gonna kill myself." But now she say, "Ah, oh, mom, so thankful. My fingers are cut only this much." Next day she said, "Mom, so thankful. I can hold a spoon with my finger." Next day, mom, ah, oh, so thankful. I can breathe today. Mom, so thankful. I can open the door with my finger. Mom, so thankful. I can wash my feet. I told you from the knee to the top of the head, everything was burnt out, right? So she cannot wash the part which was burnt with the fire. So as she washed the feet, ah, mom, so thankful. Somehow I can wash my feet. She and her mother said, "Let's find out one thing to be thankful every day." Yes, they start to write down one thing to be thankful every day. So look at here, everyone. Important is she couldn't change her circumstances and the face, but what she changed, she changed the heart. She start to move and the shift. 
her heart from the despair, anger, fear, doubt, and the desperate situation into the gratitude, thankfulness, hope, and the happiness. And her life started to be beautifully changed. Everyone, if she could be thankful in such a critical time, you think about yourself. You must have a lot of time, tough time. You are, you are suffering a lot of things now in this COVID-19, right? But is there anyone who can say, I am more miserable than this lady? No. Yeah, if this Miss Edison could be thankful in such a desperate situation, it means there are thousands of things that we can be thankful today in our life also. Do you agree with me? So now we will have the short time to practice, to move our heart, change our heart, okay? Now you put aside all your academy or COVID-19, anything, right? So now let's practice to move our heart, change our heart. I will give you two minutes. Please uh, take your note and the pen, or you can write on the smartphone also. So you please write down five things, five things that you can be thankful today in your life. Five things, okay? And then we will have the time, one person or two person to give the presentation. Five things that you can be thankful today. Ready, go. Everyone please participate. Please write down five things that you can be thankful today. One minute passed by. Twenty seconds are left. Okay, time is up. So please, if there's anyone who want to share the five things that you are thankful today in your heart, now I will give you the opportunity. Turn on your mic and you can introduce yourself, who you are, your name, and where are you from. And you can, okay, Shimshan, Shimshan Apu. Yeah, you can unmute your mic. Hello, uh, yes, yeah. uh, good afternoon, sir. So I'll, I'll be thankful today for uh, five Please, things uh, in Shishan, my life. Please, in introduce yourself, your name, and uh, yes. where are you from, and uh, you can take your time. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, sir. I'm, fr I'm Shumshan K. Uh, from Bangalore, working for Bishop Cotton College, Elanka. Uh, so I'll just share uh, five things where I'm thankful today in the midst of uh, pandemic. So first thing, I have a job. Uh, second thing, I am getting my salary regularly every month. Uh, in spite of uh, so many companies, they are removing uh, people. Uh, so I got my, I'm getting my salary every month. And I have my own vehicle to come to my job because I, I used to travel all these days in the bus. Uh, nowadays, uh, there's a scarce of bus in the uh, Bangalore. So I have my own vehicle uh, to come to my job. And I have uh, regular food and clothing uh, that is God has blessed with. And I have my own house not to pay rent. Uh, in spite of people are lacking behind, not, uh, no, uh, they are not able to pay the rent. I'm able to pay my rent. So I'm thankful for these uh, 
uh, five points. <laughs> thank you for giving this opportunity. Thank you, thank you for your hearty presentation. <laughs> uh, okay, I will give the time to the Ruhi. You can unmute your mic and speak. Ruhi is there, Ruhi. I see you, you raise your hand. Yeah, I've unmuted you, uh, Ms. Ruhi. Please uh, accept the request. You'll be able to speak. Otherwise, uh, another person, raise your hand if you'd like to share your presentation. Five things that you can be thankful today in your heart. I will give opportunity to, for one more person since we have limited the time. Yeah, Ms. Ruhi is online. Yeah. Yes, yes, I'm here. My name is Ruhi Sultana from Jammu and Kashmir, from India. Hello, sir. Number one, be positive. Number two, love others. Number three, thank yourself. Number four, brotherhood. Number five, love others. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> thank okay, you, sir. So, yeah, thank you so much, Ruhi. So I want to hear more, but uh, we have limited time. So you can share it on the chatting or you can share it with your family members today, okay? So let's continue. Let's see the power of the, this changing of the heart. What miracle happened to her life? Look at that. Year 2005, she completed a master's degree in the social welfare at the Columbia University. 2008, she completed a master's degree in the rehab counseling at the Boston University. 2016, she completed the doctorate de degree in the social welfare at the UCLA, the University of California and the Los Angeles. You know, these are the, one of the top universities all around the world, right? So that photo is a graduation photo of that doctor degree in the UCLA. And she wrote two books. The first name, I love you, Jason. Second book is, I am happy today, too. So look at that. With that ugly finger, she wrote such a beautiful book. And it was sold out more than 300,000 copies in South Korea, everyone. If you write the book, not easy to sell out 3,000 copies also, right? But she sold out more than 300,000 copies of book. And so many people who read her book, a lot of the people who were supposed, who were about to commit suicide, they start to change their mind. So look at there, one letter. They start to write a lot of the letter to her. One lady, one lady, she said, I was abandoned by my lover a few days ago and I decided to die. I went to pharmacies to take sleeping pills and commit suicide. But one day I accidentally read your book. I was so ashamed. I have a pretty and a healthy face. Why did I try to die? But at first I thought it was right to die because of these trials. But when I read your book, I was wrong. So I abandoned my thought to die. You saved my life. A letter from a certain lady. Everyone, look at that. So what she realized as she read this book of the Miss Egison, I was wrong. I was wrong. Everyone, the people who easily commit suicide, who easily get divorced, or easily kill other people, those people who become the murderer or like that, right? There must be a reason why they are doing like that. But all the people, they believe that my thoughts are right, right? Because you hurt me, right? I'm doing this to you, right? Because my husband, my wife is like this, I'm right to get divorced, right? Because this world is too much miserable to me, I'm right to commit suicide. Yes, when you believe your thoughts are right, impossible to come up from their thoughts, right? So many people who thought that I'm miserable, I have no hope, I'm unhappy, I suffer depression, Reading this book of Miss Egerton. Yeah, I am wrong. Why? This lady in such a most critical and miserable situation, she didn't commit suicide. She didn't complain. She didn't blame on somebody. She couldn't be thankful. Why not I? Right? I was forsaken by my boyfriend. That's why I should commit suicide. Yeah, how much foolish this thoughts I do. I have a pretty and healthy face. I have everything. I was so foolish. So you saved my life. If you realize that more about you can be wrong, that you can be free from yourself more in your future also. 
So uh, I am wrong. Sorry, I was wrong. This is the most beautiful thing that you can find out in your life. So, and then she realized this hateful face saved the life. If I had a pretty face, there would have been many friends who only envy me and hate me. But because my face is so ugly, this ugly face saved many lives. Yeah, she found the reason and the purpose and the value of her life. Wherever she went, so many people come and try to meet her. Why? They get the hope, peace, happiness when they listen to her, right? So one day, journalist came and asked her, Miss Lee, you say you are very happy, right? Now, but you were very pretty before. Don't you want to go back to your pretty face if you can? You know what she said? I don't want to go back to my pretty face. Why? Then I should abandon all those who gain the hope and life through my book. How can I throw them away? I don't want to go back to my old face. This ugly face saved many people's lives. This scary face also hurt me a lot at the first. I also wanted to commit suicide at the first. But when the people who read my book wrote letters to me, they healed my wounds. I'm happy thanks to that. Everyone, there are the people who would say, yeah, because of that drunken driver, right? My life become like this. I will kill him, I will commit suicide also. Because of the people at the elevator, they saw me shout, scream, and cry, fell down, said, I'm a monster. Ah, I'm going to commit suicide. Because of them, I'm miserable. There are always the people who say, because of this, because of you, because of them. Right? But what she say? Thanks to him. Thanks to this ugly face. Thanks to them, I'm happy. This COVID-19 also same. There will be the people who will say, because of COVID-19, I lost everything. But there will be the people who will say, ah, thanks to this COVID-19. There are so many things that I never realized before, but thanks to this COVID-19, I learned a lot. What do you say from your lips and from your mouth? What do you believe? According to what you believe and the, what you speak from your mouth, it changed your future. So she said, this ugly face gave me the hope. Huh? How this ugly face gave you hope? She said, before this incident, I never understood the pain of the people in need. Right? But after this accident, I could understand their pain and their feeling and their emotion. They needed somebody to give them hope. So I want to become the minister of the social welfare, not for myself, but to help disabled people, old people, children without the parents, to get the hope and to be happy. This is my new dream. So I can say this ugly face gave me the new hope and new dream. Beautiful lady, right? A beautiful lady, beautiful heart. Now she worked as a professor at the Handong University in South Korea. I believe if she, if she become the minister of the social welfare, South Korea will be much more beautiful than now. <laughs> Do you agree with me? Yes. So now she say, happiness is now here. Happiness is now here. Beautiful life comes from the beautiful heart. So connection of the hearts. There is a one special tree named the redwood tree. Tallest and the oldest and the strongest tree in the world. It grows 120 meter giant tree and it lives more than 3000 years. If you stand before that tree, you like look like the ant, right? But the root is only three to four meter, right? So scientists, they surprised how these three to four meter roots, right? Can sustain the 120 meter height, the giant tree like that, you know? As these uh, roots of the tree are so short, what they realized about, they realized that, ah, I cannot stand alone. I cannot survive alone. And they start to connect their roots together with the other roots, right? So one, 10, 100, thousands of the red tree they start to be connected as one. I need you, help me, right? So at the dry season, through the connection of the roots, they share the nutrition, the water, and then they overcome the dry season. At the typhoon, tornado, right? Hurricane, through the connection of the roots, they uphold each other. That's how it become tallest 
and the oldest and the strongest tree in the world. Everyone, this year COVID-19, but next year we do not know what kind of the, another challenge is waiting for us. Am I right? So no matter what challenge or what difficulties we are facing in our life, if your heart can be connected with your father, mother, wife, husband, children, colleagues, friends, right? Or the people around you, that connection of the heart is the biggest power that can make you to overcome any kinds of the challenge in your life. So important is when this red wood tree start to be connected together, when it realized that I cannot stand alone, I cannot survive alone. Everyone, we always learn in this world, do your best, never give up. You can do it, everyone. But there is another side. Not only you should try your best, you need to realize the limit of doing your best. When you realize that there is something that you cannot do it alone, I cannot do it alone, that I start to turn into the we and together, right? We always learn only this side, I should do my best. I should not give up, right? I can do it. Everyone, there is something that you cannot do it if you do it alone. True wisdom come to you when you realize that there is many things that you cannot do it alone. When you realize that, you start to be connected with the wisdom of the other people. When son's heart start to be connected with the father, when he realized that, ah, my thoughts are wrong. When Columbus could enter into the new world, when he realized that, ah, my eyes are wrong, everyone. So true wisdom is not only doing your best, true wisdom is to realize your limits, to realize that you cannot do it alone to realize that your eyes and the, your thoughts can be wrong. There is a moment when you are start to be connected with the others and enter into a new world that you never experienced before. So let's come to the conclusion. Have you found the hope and the courage through the session that you heard today? Yes. Now, how do you read this greenery sentence on the bottom? Happiness is nowhere or happiness is now here. Happiness is now here yes i told you if you can overcome something in your heart you already overcame that problem in your life don't try to change something that you cannot change putting aside the fear or circumstances you please shift and move your heart into the hope thankfulness peace and joy and gratitude you start to do it from today with your family members or with the your colleague, the workers who are working together with you. You share your heart and start write down the gratitude diary. One thing to be thankful every day in your life. When your heart change, you will experience your life amazingly start to be followed, to be changed. Thank you very much. I conclude my lecture here today. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Choi. It was very inspirational. We have a lot of comments coming in uh, right from, you know, uh, from the beginning that it was very helpful, uh, very relevant today. Uh, I request anyone who has a question to either raise their hand or uh, type in their questions. We can take one or two questions. Uh, yes. Question yes. or anything that you could learn, like the, anything that you can take home. Question is also okay, but if there is anyone who wants to share about what you could learn or what you could obtain as you listen to the lecture, I want to listen to you also, please. Yes. Please raise your hand and unmute you, please. Anybody who wants to comment, uh, share their thoughts. Yeah. Yes, please. Yes. Go ahead. Hello. Yes, yes, sir, we can hear you. Please go ahead. Uh, am I audible, sir? Yes. Yes. Hi, this is uh, Taufik Suhail. I'm from uh, Kashmir, Srinagar. Hello. Yes, sir. I, yeah, I can hear you. Please tell um, me. I, I am the student of MBA uh, from Kashmir University. Today's lecture was very in inspirational, very motivational. We could uh, gain a lot of experience. I think we lost the connection there. Uh... Uh, we are getting a lot more comments. It was very inspiring. Uh, they learned that to keep uh, hope alive at all times. 
so you can see uh, if you open the uh, comment session chat session there a lot of very good anybody else would like to uh, share their thought so i've got one message from uh, varsha kumar which says indeed uh, very inspirational se uh, session thank you so much yeah yes sir uh, that is it thank you so much uh, thank you so much thank you so much thank you for your kind invitation uh, i hope that we can all together holding our hands overcome this uh, covid-19 challenge and make the better world together thank you so much see you again thank you for joining thank you so much thank you sir from your presentation i can rightly conclude trust yourself you know more than you think you do before we wrap up our today session thank you everyone we appreciate you all being here thank you once again and we'll meet you tomorrow same time till then goodbye thank you